Teen Idol turned TV host extraordinaire Mario Lopez has got to be one of the busiest in Hollywood considering you've likely seen him on your screen plenty of times over the last few decades. Whether he's acting, hosting, or something else, Lopez seems to always be working. And that's definitely paid off for the star. Over his long-running career, he's collected a real estate portfolio of four or more stunning homes across Los Angeles and surrounding areas. And earlier this year, Mario began shuffling his properties around. First, he bought a new mansion in the quiet area of La Cañada Flintridge in California for $9.4 million, then briefly hoisted his longtime mansion-sized villa in Glendale on the market. And most recently, he sold his former home in the Burbank area for just over $2 million. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After Mario Lopez decided to shuffle around his real estate portfolio a bit throughout the past year, most recently in December 2022, he sold his one-time home in Burbank, California. He bought this pad way back in 2004 for $1.5 $35 million. And while he didn't get exactly the asking price, he still made a profit, selling the house for nearly $2.1 million. The property is set up on a corner parcel of land in Burbank, which is an area in the southeast end of Los Angeles County and about 12 miles from downtown. The home is also high up with an over the trees views of the mountains and offering a gated driveway for privacy. Looking at the outside of Mario's former home, we can see that it's built in a 1930s Spanish villa style, and it also has some stunning landscaping full of tropical plants. Inside, the home spans 4,387 square feet of space and offers up five beds and five baths throughout. First off, guests are greeted in a foyer with rich brown hardwood flooring underfoot and high ceilings, as well as a staircase with winding wrought iron banisters. Those floors continue in most of the common spaces, and other details inside the home include the arched doorways and vintage light fixtures. On either side of that entryway, there are formal living and dining rooms, one of which has a fireplace, and the nearby kitchen has tiled flooring, stainless steel appliances, and an Eden Center Island. There's also a small dining space here, and the kitchen then leads into a cozy family room with fireplace. You'll find another brick fireplace on the lower level in the media room or den, as well as a web bar. It also opens to the backyard, which is an entertainer's paradise. We'll circle back to that in just a moment, though. Mario's former three-story home had one of the bedrooms and baths privately located on the lowest level, tucked behind the garage, which is ideal as an in-law suite or for staff. Then the four remaining rooms are up on the top floor of the home, including the stunning master suite. This space comes complete with a cedar lined walk-in closet, balcony with views of the mountains, an ensuite with jetted tub, steam shower, and more. Now back to that yard. The lot might not be huge, but it has plenty of towering palm trees to add to the resort-like feel. And some features back here include a barbecue station and pizza oven, an outdoor shower and terrace space to eat, hang out, or impress guests. Most impressive has got to be the pool complex which not only boasts the main swimming pool, but the attached spa, which is shaded and flanked by columns and a four-tier fountain and fire feature nearby. It looks straight out of a luxury Vegas hotel. And if that's not enough, there's a poolside cantina with a drink fridge and curtain dining cove with built-in heaters and retractable sunshades. That backyard will certainly be hard to top, but Mario's already moved on from this home a couple of times. So let's see how the pools at his more recent properties compare. Considering Mario and his family recently upgraded to a larger and newer mansion in another suburb of Los Angeles, the end of August 2022, he put his longtime estate in Glendale on the market for $6.5 million. If this home should sell for that price, it will mark the most expensive residential sale in the Glendale area over the last five years. And if you don't have that kind of money laying around, property was also reportedly available as a rental at $25 k per month. Mario and his wife, Courtney Lane Maza, have lived here with their three children since 2010, when they purchased the place for $1.94 million, just before welcoming their eldest daughter, Gia, in September of that same year. The Mediterranean-style residence was built in 1929 and is made up of four parcels of land, covering nearly an acre with amazing views of the mountains in downtown Glendale. Glendale is a city in LA that offers 
features mountain trails, hilltop lookouts, and is near Pasadena and Burbank. The three level homes span about 6,200 square feet of space with six beds, five full baths, and two half baths, as well as a guest apartment that was fully stacked with an extra 1,000 square feet, including a living room, kitchen, two beds, and a bath. Inside Mario and Courtney's home has more than enough space for Gia and their two sons, Dominic and Santino. The property has been majorly updated over the years, but it still kept some of the original details, such as arched windows and the beamed wooden ceilings. These blend well with features like the silver walls, polished wooden floors, and some of the more modern living areas. At the entryway, there were soaring ceilings and the couple also added a grand piano. While well, the attached step-down living room offered leather sofas and other dark furniture. There was also a family room with arched fireplace, dining room with bar area, and a kitchen that boasted premium grade appliances, a spacious island, and a built-in dining booth set in a stone arch with leather banquettes. Up in the master suite, the ceilings are beamed and vaulted, and there's also a spa style ensuite which has a wrought iron spiral staircase leading to the home gym. The gym is more like a fitness dance studio here with a mirrored wall on one side and a row of floor to ceiling windows on the other which gives a bird's eye view of the backyard. Speaking of the yard, the grounds offer a swimming pool and spa surrounded by a massive terrace, as well as a covered hangout space next to the pool with retractable canvas shades, heaters, and fire pits. There is also an outdoor kitchen and barbecue area with beer tap and ice machine, and elsewhere there are a few other activities such as a trampoline and bocce ball court. While living here, the couple often spent a ton of time outside with their kids, swimming laps in the pool, or just kicking it on the deck and we can see why while the mansion was on the market recently it was seemingly taken off for a brief period over the holiday season so we'll have to wait and see when the home actually sells of course this house tour would not be complete without checking out Mario's most recent home purchase before putting that Glendale house on the market, the Lopez family already acquired their new and current residence in July 2022 for $9.4 million. This mansion is located somewhat near their old neighborhood in the area of La Canada Flint Ridge, which is known to be a quiet and posh place to live and is about 15 miles from downtown LA. Mario's new property sits on 1.25 acres of landscaped grounds covered in plenty of oak trees, and this mansion is quite quite a bit bigger than their last family home. Clocking in at about 9,300 square feet of space with six beds, six baths, and three powder rooms. The two level abode is built in a Spanish style and was newly constructed in 2022. So you can bet the place has all of the modern bells and whistles Mario could have hoped for, including state of the art home automation and security systems throughout. Inside there are modern and stylish living spaces, most of which are fashion in an open plan layout, along with soaring ceilings, including a formal living area with double height wood beam ceilings and a walnut and black marble fireplace. The modern kitchen also has the same beam ceilings as well as a bar style seating, top of the line appliances, including a restaurant sized fridge, while the formal dining room offers walls of glass that open to the outdoor areas. If main floor living spaces aren't enough, Mario's new family home boasts an entertainment space on a lower level that has a 600 bottle wine cellar, bar, and plenty of space to hang out. Elsewhere in the home, you'll find a home office with walnut built-ins, a deluxe dog washing station, and a plush movie theater. Moving outside of the new Lopez digs, there's a pair of elevated covered patio spaces, one for dining outside and the other for hanging out, which overlook the swimming pool and spa. Aside from all of that, there's an open air pavilion with an outdoor fireplace, kitchen, and pool bath. Not to mention, under some trees elsewhere in the yard, there's a peaceful and private terrace from which you can catch a view of the entire house. All right, well now that we looked at three of Mario Lopez's family homes, I think that'll bring this house tour to an end. Which one of his properties was your favorite? For some reason, I love the pool complex at his first home in Burbank. Before we go, answer me this. If you were a celebrity living out in LA, would you move to one of the quieter suburbs on the outskirts like Burbank or Pasadena or prefer to be right in the middle of the action? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. 
My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.